Morning guys, Matt here from HAL Heavy Duty. In this video, we're going to be taking the HTS drill, this little bad boy here, and sending it all the way into a build of 4140 steel. I have wanted to make this video since I started the channel. The chip removal that you're going to see come off this thing is insane. We're going to dial it up to 900 RPM, feed rate of 0.15 as per manufacturer spec, and we're just going to send it. I'm not going to have a lot of setup time in this video. You can go to the previous one we did on U drills for that. I know a few of you were like, man, there's like 11 minutes of, uh, of setup and then a couple of minutes of drilling. That video was just so that people knew how to run U drills and not get them stuck. This is purely on running this and watching the show. If you are interested in heavy duty content, this is the channel for you. We, we're a real live machine shop that specializes in the drilling industry. We build tool joints, rods, crossover subs, and we repair dozens of drill rigs to keep them out spinning in the field. And man, some of the stuff that these guys break will blow your mind. So if that's of interest to you, you're in the right place, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I really appreciate it when you do, it helps the channel grow. Um, so a big thank you to everyone who's already done that. And a welcome back to, to everyone who's been on this channel before. As I just mentioned, we are a real live machine shop. All of this is gonna get converted into crossover subs. This is our bad boy for today. So it's just a shade under half a meter long. I've got to face it as per the previous video. The diameter of that is 120 mil. And that, the only way we can get the depth that we need is to run this drill, hence why we purchased it. We used to use spade drills, but it takes about 40 minutes to do that. And as you'll see in this video, the speed at which this HTS drill runs is awesome. So let's get into it. Job done. 
That's the sort of swarf we're getting out of it. That is some serious chips. So as you saw, there was a little tiny bit of vibration and a bit of noise. It is a roughing tool, but I'm hoping there's more experienced machinists with this particular tool out there who would throw it in the comments how I can avoid that. Um, my only goal behind a lot of these is to either be learning or sharing what I've learned, so there's no ego here. Um, but that actually came out pretty good. That's 380 mil deep. Um, and yeah, none of the carbide is busted at all. It's all secured nicely. All right, guys, so that's the HTS drill. As you can see, insane swarf removal, like we call it ballistic. Um, that is one of my favorite tools to run. I've got to say, that is running that lathe at the upward maximum, in my opinion. Although it's 1200 RPM on the chuck, or 1222 and 1300, I just don't, like I said in the last one, I like to run things at a comfortable maximum where I can get the job done and not break stuff. So really happy with how that went. Um, now in the next video, we're gonna be running the big U-drill. I definitely have to use it because I've got a piece of steel there that it, it has a date with this. So if you wanna join me for that, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I really appreciate it when you do. It helps the channel grow so that we can bring you more heavy duty content. Thanks for, tuning, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.